The immune system depends on special binding molecules called immunoglobulins. These are also known as antibodies. Immunoglobulins are often referred to in shorthand as simply Ig. IGs are Y-shaped molecules which connect on one end to an invading microbe, which is known as an antigen, and then they connect on the other end to bind with various white cells. These specialized antibody molecules come in different shapes and sizes, which provide a great deal of flexibility in matching and destroying targeted antigens. Antibody molecules are found floating in the plasma, as well as on the surface of specialized B cells. Immunoglobulins are constructed from two types of amino acid chains, heavy chains and light chains. Ig molecules contain two identical strands of heavy chains and two identical strands of light chains. The side of the Ig that has two heavy chains forms a stable non-variable receptor point called an effector. This effector is part of the Ig molecule that binds with our own immune system cells. On the opposite end of the antibody are two antigen binding sites, each with a light chain and a heavy chain combination. This combination of light and heavy chains forms highly variable tips that can adapt to specifically match a wide range of antigens. Immunoglobulins come in five basic types, IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG, and IgM. Each type targets a specific type of antigen, which determines the Y-chain structure of each type of Ig. IgD, IgE, and IgGs all use a single Y-chain, whether they stand alone or as receptors connected to white cells. IgAs use a double Y-chain, which is called a dimer. IgMs are unique in that they form either as a single Y-chain when expressed on the surface of a B cell, but the standalone version of the IgM molecule forms a combination of five Y chains, which is known as a pentamer. Consequently, standalone IgMs form a very large antibody molecule. In the next video, we'll look more closely at the functions of each of these five Igs.